Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zebu Nation Plays, the FM Scout Academy Challenge with FC Dallas. That's right, we are back again with the Western Conference Finals. We're in the playoffs. We're just about to start to our first leg of the finals against our old nemesis, Seattle Sounders. We've uh, been back and forth with this team all season, for many seasons actually. And now it comes down to this Western Conference Final. First leg, we sh um, I don't know if we're at home or away. Is, uh, let me check the schedule. All right, we are at home. So, yeah, that's right. They beat us on the final game of the season, and that got them a higher seed. So they get, uh, they get the home field advantage here. Well, that's all right. I, it, it worked out for us in the last round of the playoffs where we were able to advance past Kansas City. So now we got a couple of interesting things going on. We just got uh, Akindele back from um, international duty. He played a couple of, of, of matches, uh, friendlies for Team Canada. But he's still he's healthy, so that's fine. We've got an injury situation with Cole. He's currently getting injections into his ankle to allow him to play. But I'm going to bring him off the bench just, uh, you know, because we don't necessarily need him. We have a capable backup in Escobedo, but I wanted him available just in case. So he's going to be on the bench with those uh, with a juiced up ankle. And then the other situation we've got is somebody coming back from injury. Koi Kraft is back from injury. Now, he's obviously not very fit since he's been on the injured list for several months. But the question remains, uh, what do we do with him? Well, I think first thing we do is we put Searle back in the lineup for Thompson. Make him the deep-lying playmaker. Maybe that's not a good idea. You know, Thompson played well. We could have kept him in there. But uh, I just like Searle. He's a little more experienced. He's uh, a little bit better physically. You know, he's got the speed and the pace and the jumping reach and all that kind of stuff. So I figured we'll keep him in there, put him back in his starting lineup, and that should be good to go. Now the question, what to do with Kraft? Um, You know, I could bring him in for Washington or Thompson. You know, there's a lot of questions. A lot of questions here. Because, um, you know, if Hunter gets hurt or if he gets tired, then we have absolutely nobody in position. But I, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to leave Kraft out of the lineup for now, and we're just going to go with uh, with this lineup. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that and see what happens. Instruction wise, we're going. We're going to start the game out on control, work the ball in the box. Because we've been switching to that halfway through the mid, the first half anyway, so we might as well uh, start out with it. So we all know Seattle. We know them very well. They've got a uh, very, very talented uh, front line. Good strikers and uh, wingers, Dempsey, Agudelo, Morris, uh, Lodero is also dangerous. Jones, we got to keep an eye on from that fullback position. So here we go. Gonna close down. Obviously, we're going to close down on the advanced players. No doubt about that. Who's ever an advanced player, they come in, they're getting closed down on. In terms of individual players, I'm going to close down on Morris, Dempsey, Agudelo. I think we're going to close down or tightly mark Ladero. And then we're going to close down on Jones just because he seems to be sneaking forwards there. All right, so there we go. That's our defensive lineup. Passionately go out there and impress me. Okay, a couple of guys are delighted. That's fine. Let's go. Let's do it. Here we are, Toyota Stadium. Now we got a full house. Looks to be mostly full. 99% full at the least. 
that's good to see. At least when we make it into the playoffs, uh, people will come out and support us. So here we go. Start with the kickoff. We're going to control the match, and Zimmerman's going to fire it downfield for no particular reason. Good, good man. Good man. Um, what are we looking for from this game? We're looking for a win, obviously, but if not a win, then you know we want at least a draw. Maybe a scoreless draw wouldn't be the worst thing ever. That kind of got us through our last series. You know, we we didn't start with a scoreless draw. We ended with a scoreless draw. Still, looks like we're getting. Getting the possession here. Zach and Daly out wide. Escobedo crosses it. There's the goal. Alcantara. I knew he would come through eventually. Oh, my gosh. Somebody just got dunked on like you would not believe. Anyway, uh, yes, Alcantara with the goal. Nice nice win of the ball by Akindele to Escobedo. There it is. The goalkeeper got a hand on it. Just couldn't get enough on it. So, all right, we're up one. They've got a shot at it. They looked mostly offsides there, but I guess uh, no harm, no foul. There's Agadelo. It's the shot straight at Gonzalez. I'm going to show a replay of that dunk. Here it is. Ooh, dunk. All right, good job. So not a lot of time has gone gone by this half let me look at these formations here it does look like they're pressing forward pretty pretty good oh rodriguez what are you doing oh gonzalez with the stop all right all right all right all right all right all right, all right. i'm gonna close this down we're gonna go to counter formation here get structured I might be taking Rodriguez out if he has that kind of brain freeze when he's the last man on the defensive line. I don't know what to tell you. All right, so uh, we'll stick with this for now. We'll wait. We'll wait for getting stuck in uh, for the second half, maybe. But for now, we'll go counter, try to stop all of this shenanigans and nonsense that they're pulling on us. Just fire the ball downfield when we get it. Maybe we can. Uh, Maybe we can catch him. I don't know. We're being seriously overrun in the midfield. What? You don't say. There we go. Corner kick from Hunter. All right. They might be getting a counter attack here. There's Corona. All right. Our defense is back, so that's fine. Morris out wide to Miller making a run. See, looks like we got everybody covered. Yes, we don't. Oh, what happened there? Was that Rodriguez again? Looked like he headed the ball away from Gonzalez, who was trying to grab it. Let's check this out. Morris or Miller. Yep, Rodriguez. All right, home skillet, you're coming out. Two... Foul ups on the back end is too much. So we're going to bring in Johnson. Well, wait a minute. Let's undo that first. We'll switch these two guys around and bring in Johnson. I don't normally make performance based substitutions, as weird as that sounds. But I'm going to do it this time around. All right, here's Ladero. Free kick to no avail. That's good for us. 30 minutes gone. 1-1. One, one. We don't want it to end this way. This is kind of the worst way for it to end would be 1-1. One, one. I mean, other than them winning. So it's the second worst way that it could end. <laughs> but, you know, if, if we've already allowed them to get an away goal, which means we need to win to make it worth it. Here we go. Oh, kid and get the header. Now they're going to get another counterattack. Morris up the field to Agadelo. Let's close this down real quick, but no good. Dempsey gets his foot on it. Ouch, nice tackle. Van de Castile getting physical with it. Alcantara saves it from going out of bounds. Can we continue this counterattack? No. All 
All right, this is a long highlight. I'm not sure I like what's going on here. They might... Ouch! Escobedo, please do not get a red card for that. That was a awful-looking tackle. He's going to get a red card. Nope, just a yellow. Just a yellow. Okay, okay, okay. Pep talk. I need to calm everybody down. Everybody calm down. We are tackling fairly aggressively, though. Oh, my gosh. He just left Dempsey open. He left Dempsey open. That was not a good idea. Here's Seattle now crushing our dreams yet again. I don't, uh, I don't enjoy this at all. Uloa misses the tackle. Lodero gets it to Dempsey, and he just, I mean, that's just a great shot. No way around it. So that's a brutal way to end the half. We went from a 1-0 lead to a 2-1 deficit. No good, no good, no good. So second half, do we dare going... Do we dare to go attacking? I don't know. Come on, boys. I know you're better than that. I think at minimum we'll go back to our control game. Close down more. We'll get stuck in. We'll retain possession. See if we can... Uh, see if we can work the ball around, tie it up, and... Uh, you know, then go from there. There's a good steal from Escobedo. Try not to get thrown out of the game, my man. I'm going to have to sub him out, I think, a little early than, earlier than I would like to. It's Hunter with a free kick. Look at that. Look at that. The first free kick goal in the history of this sport. Hunter. The rookie. I knew if I just gave him enough chances, eventually something good would happen. Here it is, off the wall. Goalkeeper gets a finger on it, but can't stop it. Look at that. Very excited about that. Now here we might get another highlight. I mean, that's, that's like the goal of the year right there. There's no doubt about that. Goal of the year. Van de Castile wins the header to Searle. Back to Castile. Hunter. Akindele gets it stolen from him. I have to sub out Akindele too, but, you know, he's playing all right. Let's see if we can get it wide to Acosta. There he is on the right-hand side. He's been playing on the left-hand side all season. His pass is deflected, but it goes straight to Searle, who fires a long shot. Got it on target. I mean, that's all we can hope for at this point is just get... The shots on target. This goalkeeper seems a little shaky when when the ball is fired right at him. Frell, or is that Frey? I think it's Frey. Anywho, whatever his name is, here's Hunter with a corner. Almost got that. Van de Castile. What's he gonna do with it? Alcantara. Nice. Look at that. We have changed momentum in this match. Up 3-2, his 20th goal of the season. How is this guy not Rookie of the Year? I mean, they're, they're having the Rookie of the Year voting right now, and he's in the running. But, I mean, with these performances he's putting on in the playoffs, that's two goals. Two goals this game, three goals overall in the playoffs. Can't beat that for a rookie. I don't think the other rookies are scoring like that. So we're going to have back-to-back uh, -back rookies of the year, back-to-back -back defensive players of the year, because Acosta's up for the uh, defender of the year. Here's Hunter with another free kick. Could he make it two? No. <laughs> That's too much to ask for. There's Escobedo getting the ball stolen. I might have to take Escobedo out. Do I want to bring in Cole and his injured ankle? I don't know when I have... Uh, Got Hollingsworth on the bench. I can bring him in. 
Ladero with a free kick to no avail. Escobedo can't get there. Morris looks offsides. Come on now. Come on now. That was offsides. No, no, no. That's not that's not good. Where's the whistle? Come on. Where where is he? Where is he? Right there, right there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't agree. I do not agree with that. So they've come back, tied it up. 3-3. Three, three. Akindele getting triple covered, gets it to Escobedo. This has been a, a wild match, up and down. Uloa, can you get it out wide? Uloa, what are you doing? Play it out wide. Thank you. Acosta's wide open. Back to Uloa. Back to Searle. He's going to shoot it. <gasps> Escobedo, wide open. Why did you pass that? Why did you pass that, my man? I think he just finished trading for shooting with power, too. That was a wasted opportunity. He gets the rebound served to him on a silver platter, and he does nothing with it. So here we go. Back out to Escobedo again. Hunter Uloa, he's going to shoot it. Yep. All right, substitutions. Um, nobody's in dire need. But I think... Move Acosta over here. I'm going to bring Cole in. It's a risky sub to make, but I think it's okay. I think we can do it. I think it'll work. It should work. As long as he doesn't have a, uh, you know, he just ruptures his ankle or something. I think the injection should be able to hold him. And that's why we gave him to him, right? So we could play him if necessary. Sometimes guys play better when they're injured. It's, it's a weird phenomenon that happens in sports. I'm sure you've seen it. Just about every sport there is. Somebody's, you know, sick or injured or whatever, and they... They come off the bench and, you know, just summon some Herculean effort. Zimmerman can't get there. So maybe we can get that from Cole. Here we go. Oh, what happened there? I took my eyes off the screen for a minute because there's another gigantic dunk on the screen. Zimmerman. Here we go, free kick from Hunter. Hunter is just killing it on the free kicks now. Zimmerman just heads it past Frey again. He gets his hands on it, but he can't stop it. This, we could have. I think we found their Achilles heel here for old uh, old Seattle. All right, Fernandez. All right, you know what? We should be. We should probably be uh, on counterattack right now, but there's only a minute left in overtime. Alcantara gets it stolen, but that's okay. The ball goes straight to Acosta, and we're just we're just running out the last minute here. If we get another goal, that'd be great, but not uh, not necessary. And to Castile Uloa, can you get it out wide? Here's our substitute Cole centers it. Oh, that's a foul! Come on now brutalized him in the box there you don't want to say that phrase too many times in a row um acosta oof what are you doing there buddy but zimmerman cleans up the dirt and this should be the end oh oh akindele on a run he's got hunter with him <gasps> he bounces it off the post cole's gonna save it though here's the final two minute warning Akindele with the header. Our man Cole comes through with the frozen ankle. Gives us a nice two-goal comfort uh, cushion going into the next leg. Here we go. Here it is, Cole. A little chip shot over the top. Defender standing around, slack-jawed. Akindele, nice play. Wow, what a match. 5-3. Some 
real back and forth, up and down play. Very excited. Toyota Stadium got their money's worth here. Superb comeback. Uh, they deserve much credit. I think they're, you're right. You've done brilliantly to come back. I'm very proud of you. Let's continue to the post-match analysis here. Washington did not play, even though he's our key player, so maybe we should play him next time. Although Alcantara and Akindele both played very well. Uh, let's see. There's Alcantara, speak of the devil. 8.8 .8 rating, two goals, two key passes. Very nice. Take a look at the analysis. Um, distance run, of course. By Acosta, he's all over the field. Not a lot of interceptions from our defense this time. A lot of passes from our midfield. Searle and Hunter, each over 100 completed passes. Both of our strikers scored, so very productive offensive game. No doubt about it. All right. So FC beat Dallas in a thrilling encounter. Cole injured. Uh, physio be out two weeks. Again, that's still the end of the season. We'll get through the next game against Seattle, but could then be out. We'll keep giving him the injections. Even though technically I don't think we need him. But he did come through with a huge assist in that game. So, you know what? We're going to... He, he's he's going to want to play. There's no way he's going to miss out on these matches. Two goals from Alcantara. Morris continued his fantastic record against you. Meh. Send the assistant. I don't want to answer that. The U.S. boss, Jesse Marsh, was spotted at Toyota Stadium. He's looking at everybody now. He's looking at Acosta, Zimmerman, Alcantara, Marshall, and Dempsey from uh, Seattle. Had a lot of holes to fill in the U.S. national team, apparently. All right, I guess that's all we need to look at. Reagan, please, with the comeback. Yes. Anything else? Dallas have confirmed an attendance of 20,500. Is a Major League Soccer Western Conference final is a new record high for the club. Previous attest attendance record. So our attendance record is 20,000. 20,500. I don't think we can see any more. Yeah, we can. Look at the team stats for the supporter shield. Uh, attendance. Average attendance. Look at that. That doesn't even place us fifth in the league. Our, our biggest sellout doesn't even get us near the top ten. Let's take a look at average attendance. So yeah, our, our average total attendance is only 13,000. That's no good. 20th in the league. So even our, you know, our highest possible attendance, 20,500, gets a 7th place in the league in terms of attendance. I don't know about that. I don't know if I like that. Anyway, we'll think about that later. Let's see, scoring record. It's a new Western Conference high for uh, in a league game. The previous was a 4-3 defeat against Portland. All right. Alcantara's 20 goals is a new FC Dallas record. Yeah, the previous was 19 from like 10 years ago. I, I remember looking that up. Oh, the previous goal scorer was Jason Kreese in 1999. Wow, that was a long time ago. 20 years ago. Just about. So there we go. Yeah, there's a postseason or post action report here. Focus of the attack. That's what happens when we run possession. We get all this heat, heat map going on. There's a spaghetti of all the passes that we did. All right, who made the mistakes? I think it was pretty clear who made the mistakes. No, Van de Castile had three mistakes. What's that all about? Jesse Gonzalez had a poor game, apparently. I don't. Uh, hmm. Hmm. We blamed it all on Rodriguez. I guess we were out of line doing that. Lopez is unhappy. Too bad. 
No, we don't want to train Alcantara to run down the right. Alright, I think that's it. I think we've gone over everything we could possibly go over without uh, starting the next match. So, I'll fast forward to the next match, and we'll see you next time. Bye.